Hello there and welcome back. This is the Total OS Today technology channel, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. I had received a question from Daryl. Hello, Daryl, on how to dual boot Windows 8.1 and Ubuntu Mate. Now, Daryl, I don't have external hard drives. I believe you do. So what I did, did a quick search. If you go to askubuntu.com, there's uh, there is some information here on dual booting Windows 8.1 and Ubuntu on separate hard drives and also on how to install Ubuntu on a pre-installed Windows 8 64-bit UEFI supported. That's what I have. So that being said, Daryl, let me show you a quick list here of what I did, at least on my uh, desktop, not having external hard drives. I thought perhaps, Daryl, this might help you for future reference. Keep in mind that there are two different procedures uh, to installing uh, to dual boot with either just a single normal hard drive on your computer or and or external hard drives. Okay, first of all, Daryl, what I did, back up any important information, whether you are going to install normally on a single single hard drive or external hard drives, back up any important stuff first, such as family photos, videos, documents, stuff like that. I would also create OS restore disks. Uh, most modern computers with Windows 8.1 will allow you to create backup disks for the operating system. I believe, Daryl, for mine, I had a choice of either three or four DVDs or one single 16 gigabyte USB stick. All right, number three, Daryl, you have to understand BIOS settings, including secure boot, fast boot, boot menu at startup, and OS selection. And if you're not sure about the how to get into your BIOS, check the manufacturer's website. Now, for me, I had to disable uh, disable secure boot, disable fast boot. I think, Daryl, I also had to enable legacy mode. I can't remember. I think I did. I also had to choose, once I created my uh, USB stick, which is actually number four, I should have had that number three, I suppose. Uh, I had to choose the USB stick boot menu at startup. And also, for me, Daryl, once I went into the BIOS, I had to choose which operating system should boot up first on a on, on a list basically on on a menu list if you want to call it that I had to choose Ubuntu first um, if I left it by default it would strictly boot only into Windows 8.1 there would be no option to choose either Windows or Ubuntu but once I figured it out it took me a while I went back into the BIOS and just make sure that Windows or sorry Ubuntu was first on the list. Now I did notice for me Daryl that when I went to install Ubuntu there was no option that says install Ubuntu alongside Windows 8.1. So I had to go back into Windows 8.1 and create free space. A separate partition to create free space to where I can install Ubuntu Mate. Now you have to be careful, Daryl, not to delete the restore partitions. I had, I think, at least two, and one of those partitions contains the backup of my Windows 8.1 operating system. That's why it's very, very important in case you make a mistake to create the restore disks first. Okay, finally, once I got all this taken care of, I had to, of course, boot from the USB. And to install, I believe I had to choose the option, choose something else, and I had to do some custom partitioning. I don't normally recommend custom partitioning for beginners. Uh, I believe it's easy to make a mistake. It's not that difficult, but you have to, uh, Daryl, you have to create at least one root partition and one sp uh, swap partition to install this correctly. Uh, some users may create a home partition. I personally did not. Since I back up everything, uh, this for me appears to be quite sufficient in terms of custom partitioning. All right, Daryl, I hope this helps. If you, are, if you are still confused, I'll try to take, uh, if I remember, I will take some screenshots of my BIOS 
uh, and just to give you an idea of what I had to do. All right, let's see, what else do I have here? Oh yes, uh, don't forget to vote for the May YouTuber of the month. Uh, once again, it does not necessarily have to be about technology. Maybe somebody new who deserves more attention. And finally, I do not have the next live event schedule yet. The UK show, the live show, the podcast. Um, I'm thinking to do it sometime this summer, or I may just take the summer off. If you would like to help sponsor that podcast or the channel, I will have links for that in the show notes. All right, Daryl, thank you for the question. If you have any other uh, concerns or questions, please let me know. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.